Welcome guys, in this video I wanna uh, present to you what is the state of the Raspberry Pi 4 emulation uh, using the QEMU. So recently Raspberry Pi 4 has been added to QEMU 9 and uh, here is uh, what the official specification is saying. So basically they are implementing uh, frame buffer, uh, uh, USB, SD card uh, and uh, video core actually. So I'm trying to emulate this uh, Raspberry Pi 4 using the almost uh, best x86 uh, 64 PC. And I am using currently Manjaro, so I spent some time uh, researching how to create uh, right QEMU configuration. And here is uh, what I was uh, trying to test and uh, discover uh, which is working for me. So using these comments basically. Uh, and uh, on my website like emulating Raspberry Pi 4 on IoT Tech Dev Forum so I tried to create simple guides and uh, basically I paste the code here uh, my idea initially was just to test uh, how fast the Raspberry Pi 4 emulation will be uh, but uh, basically what I discover and I will show uh, in seconds is uh, when I run this it seems like it's not detecting the USB mouse and keyboard so uh, I did some research and it seems like uh, when you add something like this in Raspberry Pi 3 it's working but here in my specific case, uh, USB controller is not working. So, if you guys know uh, how or where I am making mistake, let me know in the comment below or just hit me in the IoT Tech Dev Forum in the emulation sec section. And that now I will demonstrate basically how Raspberry Pi 4 emulation is working. So. Basically, I will use this configuration and uh, will show you to where I am. So, initially we can see the emulator is starting, kernel is loading and the file system is mount. Uh, I had one problem uh, when you specify the root device. Uh, from where file system will be loaded. Uh, here it should be uh, mmcblk1 but not zero. In many examples in internet they are telling you it should be zero but it's actually one. So it took me some time to debug and find that uh, basically uh, the kernel is finding these devices at one. And root partition is uh, partition 2. So let me explain a little bit how this configuration is working. QEMU system arm uh, machine type is Raspberry Pi 4B and basically we are when we download uh, the official Raspberry Pi image so from here we can find the links directly from my website. So let me open it. So I'm using uh, the uh, one second which version I was using. Basically, I'm using Raspberry Bullsy image, uh, and uh, he removed. Oh, okay, it's uh, legacy. So this version I am using, version 11, because when I use the newest version, it's not booting to the desktop. 
not sure why maybe someone can give me hint and uh, if I try to use uh, the older version basically with its booting with UI with this configuration so basically I'm using Bullsy and when you download the image you have to extract the uh, BMC Raspberry Pi 4B DTB file and actually kernel 8 image is the kernel file so we, we have to extract from this image and copy somewhere in your home folder uh, these two files and after that we can boot with these commands basically and uh, I added uh, this uh, like serial interface to be able to be seen on the console and uh, we can see basically uh, it's booting but uh, when I try to use the GUI GUI is working but when I click inside and try to, to use the mouse it's not working not sure why and I tried also to mount uh, like a physical USB device here in the configuration is the same thing so not sure why it's not working maybe it's problem on Raspberry Pi for QEMO emulation or maybe I'm making mistake here with the configuration so if you guys know let me go let me know in the comment below or paste uh, in my forum I would like you to make it work so basically here I give my uh, configuration and I will leave the link uh, in the description below video uh, so you can click and uh, go visit our forums and uh, if someone know how we can fix this or maybe this is bugs in QEMU let me know so basically that is for today it's uh, emulation is working we can see we can go to the desktop but it's not perfect so uh, we also here I tried to use um, like to boot the year 5 first because we sometimes uh, QEMO can be used with QEMO EFI so try to use this with to boot uh, uh, Raspberry Pi EFI but it seems it give me the black screen so something with the video driver maybe it's not working I don't know maybe it's not perfect emulation still in QEMO but uh, basically up to here is working so if we can fix like to be able to use the USB ports uh, I think it will be useful and uh, for some testing so that is for today thank you for watching